want to have that. I have to bring in a former yeah. sex crimes prosecutor, Catherine Cherkasey. Uh, Catherine, it's good to have you on as well. You believe the allegations as we know them are kind of too flimsy, you say, to make a decision on Kavanaugh's guilt in terms of what Dr. Ford remembered from that time period. Thank you so much for having me. And I really appreciate the opportunity to talk about this and to talk about both Dr. Ford's allegations and the way that we look at sexual assault allegations generally across the board. Uh, my op-ed that I had in USA Today discusses Dr. Ford's allegations and the, some of the problems that I think we've all looked at with her allegations and some of the missing details. And that's not to say that her story is not credible, but in fairness to the process and in fairness to how we look at these claims with the Constitution as our guiding force and the presumption of innocence that exists, there are a lot of questions that have not been answered. There are a lot of issues as, as a legal expert that I see with the claim. And we're not in a criminal forum there, but regardless, the presumption of innocence does apply. Peggy, what do you say to that in terms of what studies have found and what those who have been sexually abused remember from that time period if it was so long ago well i i agree what your other guests with what she said um i don't think you can take your personal experience your history or the sincerity of her testimony as all of the legal evidence against judge kavanaugh by any means and mm -hmm. because of the fact that some of us resonate with that story um isn't us saying, we know she's right, we know it's true. We're just saying, gosh, I remember that. That story sounds a lot like mine. Um, so that's different. There, there are many issues raised by this hearing. That's different than saying uh, she was a credible witness and we can prove it legally. That's not my issue. My, my, my op-ed was only about how many women mm -hmm. have been silent about their cases, whether or not hers was perfectly accurate or whether it was true. I wasn't judging whether uh, Judge Kavanaugh was lying or she was lying. I think they were probably both telling some form of the truth. This dis discussion um, could go on for a long time. There's so much to discuss and how this will change the Me Too movement, how women are treated, what you choose to believe, if you believe Dr. Ford or not, and how this is going to be politically. I do have to take a break. I thank you both for your time, Catherine thank and Peggy. You. Sure do appreciate it. Thank you.